Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn to install YOLO v4 in Linux and use the pre-trained YOLO v4 model to make prediction on images and videos. So let's get started. First, we will go inside the directory we want to work in and download the YOLO v4 branch in our system using git clone. Then we go inside darknet directory and download the weights using wget command. I will add all the commands I am using in the description. So don't worry about writing them. So this will take some time based on your internet speed. I will just fast forward the video. Now we will use make to build YOLO v4 but before doing that I will change few things inside the make file. I will change opencv to 1 so that I can use all the functionalities inside the YOLO v4 branch and also I will change openmp to 1 so that it uses multiple CPU in parallel. Then since I have Nvidia GPU in my system and I have built CUDA for version 10.0 which is the minimum requirement for CUDA and CUDNN version to 7.0 which is also the minimum requirement for CUDNN to run in YOLO therefore I will change GPU CUDNN and CUDNN underscore half to 1 so that YOLO G, uh, uses GPU in my system but if you don't have NVIDIA GPU then you don't have to change it to 1 you can simply keep it as 0 and run YOLO on CPU but it will be slow. Then I simply write make and hit enter and yes that's all we need to do and YOLO v4 is installed. This will take 30 seconds or so. Now the installation is done. We will make prediction on a single image using this particular command. Where we feed data name which is coco.data and then the configuration file which is yolov4.cfg and then the image name which is doc.jpg that is inside the data folder that comes with the yolov4 branch. Now it's important to know whenever we are doing prediction on images we use this test and whenever we do prediction on videos we use demo. As we can see our model is able to make the right prediction on the pre-trained classes in around 100 millisecond which is pretty fast and also the prediction.jpg image has been saved with the bounding box and the category name. So now let's say that we don't want to have results with threshold less than 0.5 then in this case we will simply add dash thresh then space and then 0.5 in the above command and as you can see that potted plant which had a threshold value of 0.33 has been removed now. So every time we run the command the image pops up showing the prediction. In GUI it is fine but in cloud it is possible that it will give us an error or a warning. So to remove this we simply add dash don't underscore show and run the command again and now we can see that the image is not showing anymore and it has just been safe as it was earlier. Now let's say we want to print the bounding box coordinate as well in the terminal. So in order to do this we simply add dash ext underscore output in the command and hit enter and now we can see that the bounding box for each object is coming as well. Also if we want to save these coordinates inside a JSON file we can add dash out space then the JSON file name which I will write as result.json and it will save the coordinates inside result.json file.
Now, in order to run the YOLO model on a video, we simply have to replace test with demo, as I said earlier, and add the video name in place of the image name, and then it will make the prediction on the video. So I have downloaded a video named traffic.mp4 from pexels.com. I'll just move it to data folder and then we'll simply run the command. Yeah, so we can see that it is running pretty fine on the videos as well. And it is giving us good prediction and the FPS is around 9.5 on my NVIDIA 1050Ti but if you are using a, a better GPU then the FPS will be very high. Now in the last step we will learn to run YOLO model on multiple images and save the prediction inside the JSON file for each image. So in order to run the YOLO model on multiple images we need to feed a text file with image path for each image. So we will go inside a data folder where we make a text file, let's say all images.txt, in which I will add the path name for three images, dot.jpg, eagle.jpg, and giraffe.jpg. And then I will run this particular command. So where I am adding the text file after result.json and an arrow. So yes, we can see that the results for each image has been saved inside results.json. We can see that uh, the bounding box for each image has been showing up in the JSON file uh, for dog, eagle and giraffe. So yeah, that's it. So, so that's it for today's video. In the next video, we will learn to train custom data set in YOLO v4 in Google Collab Notebook. And we'll again set up the YOLO v4 inside Google Collab. So yeah, thanks for watching it. And let me know in case of any doubt in the comment section. Thanks.